Land investing, what we do, just a quick, quick intro, we buy properties under market value through direct mail, typically, or texting, but typically direct blind offers, direct mail with an offer letter on them. We buy it and we sell it for more. That's what we do. So what happens is you send out this mail. It has a great ROI. You get a property for 50000 sell it for $100,000 on the back end, and you make $50,000. If you're deal funding, maybe you'll make, let's say, $35,000 if you sell it quick. So you make that $35,000. Now you reinvest it in mail, and maybe you get a land back for $10,000. Maybe now you can invest $10,000 from that $35,000 to put in. So you invest $10,000 into your own property, and now you got $25,000. You can make fifteen more thousand. Now all of a sudden you have $50,000. And it keeps going like that and you keep building it up and your bank goes from $5,000 and it gets really, really big. So then the cycle is, what do you do with that money? You start paying for your own deals. There's other thing to do with that as well. You can start deal funding and go from there. But that's kind of the cycle of how it works. You start small, reinvest in mail, get a little profit, reinvest in mail, maybe reinvest in your property, use deal funding, grow, grow, grow. That's that's how it works. And and that's that's what I wanted to talk about first, John. Yeah, without a doubt. Like You can go from having $7,000 in your bank to having $100,000 in your bank in this business relatively fast compared to any other really entrepreneur ventures that I have seen. This can happen pretty fast. Like I said, like it can be you're on your first, second, third deal, whatever it is. And then you all of a sudden have $100,000 and you're looking what to do with it. Like Daniel said, starting to pay for some of your deals, pick and choose. If you started with not a lot of money and you have a good amount of money now, picking and choosing those $20,000 deals that you can sell for 50,000, funding those yourself so you can take 100% of profit is a very valuable thing. You can also start to partner with some people in the community to be more of a hands-off investor. I would probably make sure you have six figures or so in the bank and keep $50,000 for your own stuff. So you do, when you do get that twenty thirty thousand $30,000 deal, that's worth $80,000, whatever it is, you can pay for that. Like you want to keep money for your deals if you're in that position where you're funding other people's deals. So don't over leverage yourself with other people's deals, but at the same time, being a hands-off investor is extremely scalable. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about as well is because now you know this is working, right? So let's invest everything into what's working. So take your money, put it plow it back into what's working first. Because we're going to talk about some other things, what to do with your land income. I'm going to get off of land eventually in this topic, Ron. But for now, like when you know something's working, when your business is working, you want to invest as much as possible back into that business to get the most ROI. You know what I mean? It's like reading that Phil Knight book in Shoe Dog, Ron, he, he was selling so many Nike shoes. He knew as much inventory he can buy, as much money as the banks will give him. He was able to get rid of that very, very fast. So he invested everything into getting more money from banks to buy more shoes because he knows he's selling those shoes because it was working. Same concept here. You bought a fifty thousand dollar property. You're selling for one ten. You sold it for one ten. You have you know whatever after profit split forty thousand dollars. And now you know it works. Let's buy more property. Let's get more funding. Let's do all that. And that's what you want to do first. You want to. Focus all your profit internally, in my mind. What I'm saying is you want to invest all your resources, Ron, into, into this business first, in my mind, until you can really, really take it off to that next level. As always, thank you for joining. Please do us a huge favor and like and subscribe our YouTube channel and share this with a friend. It really means the world to Ron and I, but more importantly, it could help change the life of someone else. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next episode.